times and it's always very, very popular. What it is, is something that looks really pretty. Yep, it does. And you could just leave it sitting on the countertop as a pretty crackle glass decorative item, mm -hmm. but it serves a very important function in the red, amber, or green choices. For under $19, this is actually a fruit fly trap. Yes, it is. You know those, and you know, fruit flies, we call them gnats, we call them, you know, no see -ums, those little bugs that bother you, that get around your fruit, that's sitting out on the counter, the bananas, the melons, the grapes, so you know, you've got a nice bowl of fruit sitting out on the countertop on your kitchen island, and all of a sudden there's little things buzzing all around it. And as we get further into the summer season, you're gonna be picking up all that yummy stuff from the farmer's market stand, and you don't want to have to worry about little bugs getting into your kitchen. Well, what do little bugs, called fruit flies, like more than actual fruit? They like the lure that is inside of this thing. So when you've got this out, they're all gonna bypass your bananas and fly right into this and get trapped. Exactly. So that's really what this is for. So Nancy's here. She's gonna tell us all about Plow and Hearth and about how this works. Exactly, I'm so glad that you have me because this is a wonderful item that was designed by Plow and Hearth mm -hmm. to help people have something really beautiful on their counter because we all have fruit flies that yeah. come you know, not any, you know, thing to do with cleanliness or anything. It's just when you buy the fresh fruit and you have it ripening they on the counter, appear out they're of going nowhere. to appear. Your windows are sealed tightly shut. You've not had a screen open in weeks. How'd they get in there? I don't exactly. know. They just know. know where they the fruit is. They just show up, exactly. Right. So we want to have something that's a really non-toxic way to have a solution. And so they designed this apple that has a reservoir on the bottom that's going to hold about one ounce of the lure that you're going to make from your uh, things you already have in your home. Yes. Apple cider vinegar, water, and dishwasher soap. I okay. have the recipe on my Facebook page and step by step. So what you're going to do is put about an ounce, maybe a tablespoon inside, and you can see there's a hole in the bottom. That's where the fruit flies are going to go up right. inside, and they're going to get trapped in the lure that you are going to put in there. And so you're not going to be filling it all the way up, only just to fill that reservoir in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's my recommendation, is to go ahead and make the solution. You're going to tip your apple and kind of pour the solution inside there. Maybe use a tablespoon. Okay. And know that there is a hole in the bottom where the fruit flies are going to go in. So only about a tablespoon is going to do it. That's going to sit in the bottom. And then you're going to put your apple fruit fly trap on there with your stem in it. And then make sure to throw away whatever it is that originally caused the problem, like and bananas and stuff or stuff that's starting something. to get too ripe. That's usually exactly. when it gets really sweet smelling is when all the little right. bugs come. Now let me just show you one more thing. What Nancy was talking about, there's a hole in the bottom. You're probably thinking, well, how the heck doesn't the stuff run out all over my counter? Because if you can see, this is raised. Right. So if you don't, you don't want to overfill it over that little hole. I don't even know if we could get even closer you might in be able there. You see it better with the amber but, right here. Uh, but it's a raised, see how it's raised? Let's look at the amber one. Good the idea, amber one Nancy. I think is a little better. See how the, the hole like is raised up. So you just put enough solution in the mm -hmm. bottom so it doesn't go over. It looks like a little volcano in there. Right. See it? So it doesn't go up this high. So it's not going to run out on your counter. And also those guys, once they fly into this stuff, they can't fly back They're out trapped. and down the hole. They are trapped. And they basically, you know, they kind of just pass out in the vinegar. They get drunk and drown. <laughs> Exactly. So, so they're in there, and then you just simply rinse it out, throw it away, fill it with new solution. Exactly. So, and it's amazing how they just make a quote unquote beeline right into that thing. And, exactly. And they disappear from hovering around your countertop. You're, they're going to smell that, and once you've gotten mm -hmm. rid of whatever it is that caused the problem, the you know bananas that are overripe, or one time I had a potato that fell out of the bag in my pantry and didn't realize it was back mm -hmm. there. So, and sometimes it's a little bit that's stuck in your garbage disposal too. Yeah. Uh -huh. So once you get rid of that, and then you put your lure inside the apple and set it out on your counter. It's beautiful and even when you're not using it, it's an absolutely beautiful piece of glass sculpture. It has that crackle glass finish which is so gorgeous. So if you have it like in your windowsill like we're showing right there, mm -hmm. it's beautiful. It's going to capture the light and no one knows that it actually has a job to do. So that when those fruit flies show up and you're sort of going like this, you know we all first start off like, did I just see a fruit fly? And then there's 20 of them. Exactly. So then you just take the lure and you put it inside your apple. I'm going to take the, the, the stem out, it goes in through the top. Again, there is a hole in the bottom, but that's so that the fruit
fruit flies can go up inside of it. Only about um, an ounce is needed in the bottom of that reservoir. Set it on your counter and let it do its work. It's so great. And then rinse it out every day or so. It's about five inches wide, about mm -hmm. four inches. It's got these little feet at the bottom, so it's going to look really pretty in your windowsill when you're not using it. But place it next to your bowl of fruit. And place it, you know, if you've got your banana bowl in the counter, you know, in the corner, maybe next to your KitchenAid mixer by the stovetop, wherever you put it, just put this over there. And then you will not see those bugs. They'll be trapped inside. So your choices, again, are the green, the amber, or the red. So they're all real apple colors, mm -hmm. and they're done in beautiful crackled glass, no plastic parts, nothing that looks cheapy. It's very, very pretty. It makes a really it nice little beautiful. hostess gift, and certainly we all have the fruit motif in our kitchen. Here's again how it works, and by lure we mean the mixture the that mixture. you're making. There's nothing else you put in there. The recipe comes with it. Yes, it does. But also there's one where? On my Facebook page, okay. Nancy Bramuller for QVC, and I did a, a post that shows you step by step what you want to do. And then you just pour it inside there, and they're attracted to the smell. That's the apple cider vinegar water and a little bit of dishwasher, dish soap. Uh -huh. And then they're going to get stuck in there. And so when you see that you've caught a number of fruit flies, then just rinse it out, maybe every day or you know, a couple of days. It's, it's it's easy to do. Just rinse it out so that they get that fresh smell. You want to replace yeah. it with, you know, more that again will lure them into the apple and clear up your kitchen. Right. So it really works. The red is very popular. Over 700 ordered. This hasn't been in Garden Party for about a year, so we're very happy to have it back today. It's one of our top selling items on QVC.com from Plow and Hearth. We just don't have a chance to show it to you on the TV show that often. So this may be the first time you're seeing it. It's adorable. Um, you certainly want to put the little top back on you don't right. need to leave the top open right they fly in through the bottom, the bottom. hole mm -hmm. and that way your stuff doesn't evaporate like that fast exactly. because it's in the bottom they're accessing it through the hole in the bottom and then they don't get out they don't fly back out through the top so you want to put you pour it in through the top then put your little leaf cap back, mm -hmm, back on, on and then just watch it do its magic and it's really beautiful even when you're not using it. Exactly. That's why uh, Plow and Hearth designed this to be something that's really gorgeous mm -hmm. and something that will sit on your countertop so that in between times when you're just having, you know, a beautiful decoration on your counter, no one will know that it's got a job to do. But that's what I love what Plow and Hearth does. They take something that's, you know, a practical thing. So many of us have just used the cup with, you know, the, the lure inside of it. But that's really unsightly. Oh, listen, on I your have counter. pet birds and I've done I've used cardboard thingamajiggies you buy at the pet store. I mean, they all look ugly. Right. The they all look yucky. You can pretty. see the bugs stuck in them. Right. Um, you don't even see a bug in this because the crackle glass disguises.